Chapter 115 Let's be friends. Jia Yishan rested her chin on her hand and looked out the window. Jia Yishan was a little tired of going to the Jia family villa to face the three shameless people. After all, she had to think carefully about every word she said and pay attention to each other's every move at all times. It was a very tiring thing for Jia Yishan. She did not forget that it was inconvenient for her to sleep in the car when she was driving. Ill, if film M. Presu was here, she would be able to sleep soundly. This was the second time one Lanzimo and Jia Yishan had met. The first time they met, Jia Yishan had left the deep impression on Ilan Zimo. There were countless artists under his own company. He could only remember a few of the more famous ones, but he remembered the artists from Iluania Entertainment. He was really ashamed. Han Zemo could see the side of Xie Yishan's face, but it was partially hidden by her hair. Her expression was very indifferent. Her skin was so soft that it could be broken by a breeze, and her face was so beautiful that it could topple cities. She was even more beautiful than on the screen. Ye Hai Entertainment, which was under the Hong Corporation, had invested in many movies and TV series. He had not paid much attention to them. However, when the movie Youth was released, he had asked his assistant to buy movie tickets and stepped into the cinema for the first time. Jia Yishan's shot was so short that she would miss it if she wasn't careful. He did not miss it. This was what he had been waiting for. At the red light, Onzimo took out a bottle of mineral water and handed it to Jia Yishan. Have some water, you look a little tired. Jia Yishan took it, unscrewed the cap, and took a sip. A little. What's the matter? Yes. A small problem has been solved. Jia Yishan had long known what kind of person her father was. But when she faced him, the shackles of human nature and kinship would still play tricks on her. It was a little painful. Han Zemo could sense Jia Yishan's emotions but they weren't familiar with each other, so he didn't seem like a good person to comfort her. He tried to change the subject. A problem that can be solved is not a problem. I watched the movie Youth and it wasn't bad. The part where you acted was especially exciting and made it to the hot searches several times. Thank you for making money for your high entertainment. Jia Yishan chuckled and looked away from the window. In just a guest star, and in getting paid. This is what I should do. If one wasn't in the same car as you, I would have thought that you were mocking me for being on the trending searches. A hint of awkwardness flashed across Han Zemo's face, but he quickly retracted it. I just wanted to find an excuse to comfort you when one saw that you were unhappy. One was wrong. I know. Speaking of which, I still have to thank you for standing up for me when one was slandered. In just speaking from the public's point of view, if it were any other newcomer, one would have done the same. Han Zemo's matter-of-fact attitude impressed Shia Yishan. When Han Zemo posted on Weibo to support her, she had already produced evidence to turn the situation around. Han Zemo's help was just icing on the cake, not giving her charcoal in the snow. Carrying the identity of the CEO of the Hong Corporation, it was already quite rare for him to help a small celebrity like her. Shia Yishan thought about it carefully before saying, Thank you. Han Zemo skillfully turned the steering wheel. You're welcome. We're all friends. It's my fault for making friends with President Han. Jia Yishan wasn't delusional about being friends with an overbearing CEO. It's lonely at the top. One need friends too. Don't you dare to make friends with me. I won't. Perhaps it would be easier to make friends with a minor celebrity like her.